Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. So a quick backstory to this video, there's this one guy called Rafek131 who I fought about a year and a half ago, April 2020, somewhere like that. Now you can see in the minimap, this guy is actually in my session, and this recording was taken only about a month ago, so there's quite a long gap in between our fights. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, we do get into a little bit of a fight. But um, this guy was basically standing still the entire session, just not being aggressive, not doing anything really. And after a while I just thought, you know what, I might as well go up to him, see if he wants to start a fight, just see what happens, because I kind of want to get some content. However, with this guy, I really don't want to start the fight, I just want to let him start the fight, because it'll make things a little bit more interesting. So yeah, I start off by just driving around the map, just testing out my new car that I bought. And then I get a little bit bored. Fuck it, no, I'm starting to fight this guy. Oh, in case you guys... I guess I didn't show the start of the video, because it's going to be like an hour ago. Not an hour, but a while ago. There's this guy in the session called Rafek131. We've had a fight before. Well, I'm going to see what happens now. Look how sick this car is. So to summarize what happened before, I'm just going to show a few clips and explain what happened when I fought him last. So yeah, it started off in a little sniper fight. It was fairly even for quite a while, then I started to pull ahead, as always. Then after a while, this guy started to complain about a few little things. I thought, uh, it's not really that big of a deal. It's like, I'm killing myself after I've already got a kill, so I'm just basically resetting my health while he's using snacks mid-fight. So if anything, in my eyes, he's playing the dirtiest. But he does ask me for a 1v1, and I think it's just like a 1v1 in the city or something, or like at the beach. But it's a 1v1 in an actual deathmatch, and I'm not really about that life. He also brings backup against me, and at one point it becomes a 3v1, and at another point it becomes a 4v1. Anyway, I snipe a jet, we have a little fight in the mountains, and I started to struggle a lot because some of his friends play like absolute bitches. So I asked the first guy for a 1v1, he doesn't seem to understand the concept of a 1v1 at the beach. I pull a sneaky one and manage to get him to spawn at the beach, and then he leaves because he doesn't want to fight me out in the open. So yeah, that's a 20 minute video, I actually quite like that video, it's one of my uh, favourite videos I've made. But if you want to watch that, the link will be in the description. Anyway, now to what happened recently. Let's pretend we're going to the mod shops. That can be my excuse to get close. He's just driving around. He's being cringe. There's no way. He's getting petrol. This man's getting petrol. No way. This guy's at the ATM. This can't be the same guy that I thought he you know. <laughs> This just guy got taken out. Yo, what if I leave past him? Oh, shit in hell. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. This guy could have got more lucky with this fucking spawn. Rafek angry. Parking my car. You dick! That gives you an excuse to fight him. This cringe man was cringe, and then he did a cringe kind of it. What is this bitch doing? So yeah, this fight starts off quite slow. I'm not trying to act too try hardy, and uh, he keeps running away from me. I really need to get the cops off me. Kill me, I guess. Of course he comes around the fucking corner as soon as I die to cops. This is why I hate this cunt. And he doesn't even spawn in front of me, the dick. He's trying to act like a noob or something. Can't wait for the cops to get on me because I fucking aim my rifle. 
So basically, the cops are shooting at me, and they're taking down my health. This guy hasn't hit me yet, but if he does manage to hit me, after my health has been taken down by these bastard bloody cops, then it'll be a one-shot to the body. Now, I've already hit this guy, so it's a little bit annoying. I fucking hate these cops! Piss off! You cunt, man! This is why I can't fucking do shit in this game. So yeah, I'm kind of annoyed because I know how bad this guy is and how much he plays like a little bitch and I'm just fed up with this shit. Yeah, he's a one-shot with a one-shot somehow. A one-shot somehow. Now, this was before they changed the heavy sniper, the new one, uh, the Mark II thingy, to a one-shot kill. So before anyone wants to pull that card, uh, he probably called Brucey or something and ran to get his BST. But he's just he just plays really annoying. He just sits there. So yeah, the score is now 3-0 to him. And he is not doing anything. For a peak of fucking head. I guess this guy is three kills off on me, so he doesn't really need to try. But um, you can tell he's just like, he's trying to like, do some sort of mind gauge, I think. But yeah, he dies to cops. And I should get a little bit of luck for once. He spots right in front of me. Now uh, I fumble up getting the BST real quick, but uh, I managed to kill him. Now it always gets to a point where someone realises their opponent might actually be good. Cunting shit back. And I think after we tie, when the score becomes 3-3, this guy thinks, nah, I can't let him have any more kills, and plays like an absolute bitch. So we've got two pieces of bad luck right here. I shoot at the exact time. That car goes in front of my scope, and I would have hit him and killed him just then. Also, he gets run over and gets pushed outside of my frame, so I can't even shoot him while he's on the floor. Yeah, somehow that rocket misses, and then he can just one-shot me because of these cops. I, I stop fucking shooting at me! You stupid fucking cops, man! No, the cops don't shoot at this guy one bit. But as soon as I hit him, they lock onto him straight away and make sure he dies, so I can't get my kill. I DON'T GET THIS SHITTY GAME! Now this happens to me all the time. I don't understand how it never happens to these guys. But whenever cops shoot at me, it's always before they hit mark at me. But when cops shoot at someone else, it's always after I get them 1 HP so they die to cops rather than dying to me. Uh, yeah, it, it triggers me quite a lot, especially in fights against people like these guys. I actually don't fucking get this game. It's so cancer. The fact that this guy literally just gets gifted every single thing. I shoot him, he dies to cops. I shoot him, he, I get hit by cops and then he fucking one shots me. Me on the other hand, it's like, I'm just. It just feels like Rockstar just have this little guy just following me, following me around, making sure that I fuck up. Oh yeah, this guy also literally doesn't go enough cover. Now I get a hit marker. He's, doing, he's gonna die to cops. He's gonna die to fucking cops again. But because he's literally around the corner, and I can't see him at all, he can just run away and die to cops. He dies to fucking cops again. And very out of character for me, this guy hit markers me, and I'm just fed up of the way he's playing. And I can't even see this guy because this blob of bush is just in front of me, but yeah, I commit suicide. Because I don't care. Don't care. He literally forces himself to die to cops, you fucking dirty cunt. Now, I'm trying to be a little bit aggressive. I don't want to get in this personal space because that means like they can just fire a rocket or do some bullshit and then just kill you instantly. And I shoot like one bullet and the cops just get on me instantly. In fact, I don't even shoot a bullet. Fuck off, dickheads, man. I actually hate these guys. They literally have it out for me and I don't want to lose health and get one shot again, so I literally have to make myself die. I don't activate a CEO as well because then that guy would be like, Oh, you're using BST, man, you're doing dirty, blah, 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 blah. Even though I used BST before. But I just, uh, I could call Lester, but Lester takes ages to pick up and I don't want to be on the phone to Lester while this guy can be aiming at me and shooting at me. And you can see in the chat on the right, this guy's complaining about me using explosives and killing myself. Even though this guy forced himself to die by cops and apparently his excuse was I used an explosive. But... There's literally nothing I can do. I can run up to him and force like a rifle fight, but where's the fun in that? This guy's literally just camping the entire time. He's gonna run around corners and take ages because he realized he can't beat me in a sniper fight. I can't deal with this shit, man. These cops just fucking... 
And you see, I literally see him for a millisecond then. This guy. Oh, yeah, straight for his minigun. Straight for. Apparently. Apparently, explosives aren't allowed according to this guy's rule book, but miniguns are. I don't know. He's, it's like, I don't care if you're using a minigun or not, but if you want to play by a certain set of rules, make them coherent. So, yeah, once again, this guy literally does not come out of cover unless he's got like a little right hand peek, so he can use his little minigun and try and get some damage off or something. I don't know. I just I don't understand how people can find playing like this fun. Now, this guy did play like a little bit of a bitch when we were fighting in the hills because he would like constantly stay behind like bushes and hide in the grass, but it was never this bad because it was actually somewhat out in the open. I mean, he didn't really have anywhere else to go, but the fact that we're in the city just, I think just amplifies his shitty playstyle. Bro, it's just wasting fucking time and then the cops fucking come. So I'm just gonna speed up this entire section right now because it, it just shows how much he camps. Basically, I get the cops all the time. I literally can't get a break from them. I have to suicide away from them. And then he actually asks, Actually, no, before that, uh, I try and get on a rooftop, try and play a little bit uh, smart, but as you can see, he just keeps running and running. I managed to get him in sniper distance, and he went around the corner at the very last second, because that's just my muck. Then he asked me for a 1v1, and I say, uh, okay, go airport, or something like that. Uh, and he he's like, oh, what map? What map's the airport? Invite me, or something like that, I think. Uh, I tell him I'm going to drive him to the airport, and he thinks I'm going to pull some uh, pull some shady stuff. He says, is that the job's name, airport? It's like, no, uh, the airport is the airport on the map, funny enough. Um, I don't know why this guy thought that. I could have actually tried to invite him to a sniper only deathmatch, that could have been kind of fun. But again, sniper only deathmatches, they're a little bit hit and miss because someone always gets one shot kill. Uh, but yeah, he's, he says like, ha ha ha, that's a good one. Uh, apparently this is really funny, me suggesting fighting at the airport. Not, not, not sure. I. I don't know, for some reason this guy, I, I, I literally have no words, I don't know why this guy is so stupid, I think he might be acting stupid on purpose, but it's really weird. We never get to do the 1v1, and I kind of want to meet him again on another alternate account, and then fuck him up, like a little bit dirty bitch. But yeah, thanks for watching, um, I'll let you know if we encounter again.